Sephora on this look right here. It's a really fun, colorful look, and I really love how it turned out. So yes, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe down below. Give us a big thumbs up. And if you guys want to see this look right here, then just keep on watching. To start this look, I'm going right into the Morphe 35B palette and taking a traditional color. It's a light brown shade with my MAC 224 brush. It's a big fluffy brush. I'm buffing this from inner to outer corner. This really helps blend all the other shades together later on. As you see, I do have tape at the corner of my eye as well. Going back into that palette, I'm doing this really pretty vibrant pink shade. And with that same brush, I'm doing the same exact thing. Buffing it from inner to outer corner, doing circular motions and windshield wiper motions as well. Then taking any clean fluffy brush, I'm taking that and blending it all out to make sure it's nice and seamless. With that same pink shade, I'm taking an even more denser packed brush. It's going to help make sure the color is very vibrant and it really packs the shade on a little bit more intenser. And I keep building this color up until it's the intensity that I would like it to be. Going back in with a clean fluffy brush with no additional color, I'm making sure to blend it all out. Again, I like using circular motions to really buff the shade out and make it nice and smoky. Taking any white shade, I'm taking this and applying it to my brow bone. This is going to help clean up the look and make sure I didn't go too high with that pink shade. Now with a pencil brush, I'm taking a dark purple shade and packing this on the outer corner and a little bit into the crease. This is going to add a little bit more dimension to the look and make it even more smoky. As you see, I'm doing the same exact techniques, windshield wiper motions to really pack the color on and blend it out, and then circular motions to buff the color out and make it nice and smoky. Now with any concealer, this is the Maybelline Master Concealer, I'm taking a flat brush and packing this on the inner corner of my lid, stopping at that purple shade and really blending it into that purple shade. This is going to give us a nice cut crease look and really make sure everything is nicely cleaned up and sharp. shade I'm taking the Jaclyn Hill palette and taking pool party it's a really nice Tiffany blue and going into the Morphe 35 U palette and taking an even more greener shade and blending them two together to make my perfect shade it was a little bit too green and blue so I went in with a silver shade over top of it for the 35 B palette and I packed that right over top of it to make it a little bit more lighter Going back into that dark purple shade, I'm taking that and really blending it in with the lid shade. Also going back in with that pink shade and adding a little bit more over top of that just to make it pop. Now for my ring liner, I'm taking this NYX liquid liner in black, it's my absolute favorite. Then I went ahead and popped on my Demi Whiskey from Ardell and now we're going to start the face. To prime my skin, I'm taking the Too Faced 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer. If you guys haven't seen my review on this, I'll leave it up here or down below. Now for foundation, I'm taking my favorite, which is the Hourglass Vanity Stick Foundation in Porcelain. And then taking my L'Oreal sponge to blend it all out. Now to highlight my skin, I'm going back with that Maybelline Master Concealer and it's highlighting underneath my eyes and the center of my face to really brighten everything up and make it look nice and alive. I'm going back in with that same sponge, I'm blending it all out. To set all that, I'm taking my RCMA No Color Powder with that same damp sponge and it's packing this right underneath my eyes and anywhere I put that concealer. Using the sponge to do this really helps soak in the product and make it not look as cakey. Now to set the rest of my face, I've been loving using this one. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I've been really loving it. I'm taking that same sponge and it's packing this on wherever I'm going to be putting my bronzer so it's not too patchy. To finish up the eyes, I'm going right into that pink shade from inner to outer lash line, really smoking it out. And then going back in with that purple shade, I'm only putting this on the outer corner of my lash line. Taking any black eyeliner, I'm applying this in my waterline, and then taking any shimmer shade, this one's from the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm popping it on my inner corner, and then popping on some bottom mascara, this one is the Clinique one. To finish up the face, I'm going to be bronzing it using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Dark, and it's going up the outside of my face. To contour, I'm taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette and taking Subconscious and Shadow Clay to contour my cheekbones as well as a little bit on my temples as well. Back 
into that RCMA no color powder and that same sponge, I'm just cleaning up my contour to make it look a little bit more sharp. For my blush, I'm taking this one by MAC in the shade Love Cloud. It's a really nice pink blush and applying that to the apples on my cheeks. For highlight, I'm going back into that Jaclyn Hill palette and taking the shade Beam to highlight my cheekbones and the bridge of my nose and basically everywhere for an overall glow. And lastly for the face, I'm going back into that setting spray, spraying my face and taking my damn sponge and patting my makeup in. I've been doing this every single time I've done my makeup. It really makes everything set in place and not so cakey. Lastly for lips, I'm taking this one by L'Oreal 800. It's a really pretty pink nude. It's my go-to lately. And yeah, that is it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!